And your next opportunity, besides now, to see Shooter McJudkins jamming with Juddy, <laughs> Jeff Judkins, the head basketball coach at BYU Women's Hoops in Studio B. It's good to have you back, Coach. Hey, what's nice up? Nice to be here, Spence. Nice to be here, you guys. Long time. It has been a very long time. Many moons. It is, the summer's <laughs> gone quickly, that's for sure. So here we are, exhibition number one. What are your emotions on a day like this? You not you don't have Lexi Eaton Wright Alch coming back, but you still have a pretty good team that received four first place votes in that preseason coaches poll. What what are your emotions like today? Well, you know, you, you think you've seen him practice for the last month and you feel like they're doing some really good things and you hope that tonight they can go out and execute and do those things. Uh, Westminster is a very well-coached team, and we'll have a little difficult time because they run five-man motion. And so we really haven't worked on it. You know, my bigs are working on post-defense and attacking penetration and rebounding. Now they're going to be out on the floor. So I might have to go a little smaller than I want if I have to tonight and try to match up with that. But, um, you know, uh, these games are good because I get to play a lot of players and give them opportunities to show – why they deserve to play, and um, hopefully that'll be a good case, and we can get a we can get a win. I know, was it three years ago we lost to them? You know, I mean I didn't have my starters in the whole time, but we lost to them. So uh, some of those girls were on that team, so th they kind of know that. So we'll see what happens. Lexi Rydell, um she reminds me of me. She took 19 shots a game. Uh, <laughs> the part that doesn't remind me of me is 24 points scored a game last year. Where do you see some of those shots and points being distributed throughout the team this year? Well, Cassie Broadhead is our starting point guard, and she shoots and looks to score a lot more than Kylie. It's Kylie averaged five points a game. Cassie, I bet, will average 12 mm. at least. So there's double. Um, Christine Fuller Nelson, this is her opportunity. She sat behind Lexi for four years. Um, you know, Christine has the same – Ability, she can shoot it, she can drive, she can pass. And, you know, if she can come in and score double figures for us, that'll help. And then, of course, uh, McKenzie's got to look to score more. We'll run more stuff for her this year, some, you know, more screening for her. And then Kalani's got to look to score more. And I think this year we've got better inside presence. Um, Jasmine Mooney's gotten a lot better. Hanks, we got Bodner back, you know, from, from a transfer. Um, you know, Orton's getting better uh, better with for us, and all, you just saw Amanda. Amanda's going to play a lot more four this year than than the than the five, and you're going to see Kalani play more three than she did last year. So yeah. we have an opportunity to be bigger and more physical, and hopefully that'll that'll get some baskets for her. But you're right; it's hard to replace that. I think you've got the best player in the conference, Kalani Purcell, uh, just with her overall game. I feel like. You know, we've been saying this since last year. She's kind of the Kyle Collinsworth style, but on the women's side, she yes. can pass and shoot, and she's got great floor vision. She can rebound like no other. What do you anticipate from Kalani Purcell as far as, you know, her leadership role on this team? Well, I think she has to be more um, scoring mentality, as I mentioned earlier, for this team. I, personally, I think she should come close to a triple-double every night. Wow. And if she does that... And Just she keep gets, expectations low there, Jody. And, <laughs> and be kind of what Kyle did. You know, I think, like you mentioned, she plays a lot like Kyle. And I think um, her biggest issue wasn't her assistant rebounding. It was always the points. Now she's going to have to look to score more and get to the foul line more and do some of those things. And maybe by doing that, she will have that. But, um, you know, she's one of my best defenders. But last year, we all know, she had a hard time staying out of foul trouble. And I really tried to work with her and tell her, oh, you got to play your man before they get the ball. And hopefully she takes that to heart and doesn't get in foul trouble as, as much and can play more minutes and so forth. But we have, like I said, we're going to play her some three. So that's a pretty big lineup. It goes 6'5", 6'4", 6'2". And, you know, and Cassie is not a small point guard. She's a strong physical point guard. So that's kind of a good positive thing for us. Mackenzie Pulsifer uh, is a dynamic three-point shooter, fantastic defender. Yeah. How, uh, what kind of increased role that will she have on this team this year? Well, she, she, we're going to run more stuff for her. Last year we ran a lot of sets for Lexi, and now it's going to be her. Now, is she as good at creating shots like Lexi? No, but – if we get a lot of screens and a lot of, um, you know, sets that she gets shots that I think she could do, she can do it. And, 
You know, one thing about McKenzie, and I can say this, she's gotten better every year. You know, and I think seeing her right now this month, she's gotten better than she was from last year. She's got her shots a lot quicker. Hmm. She's got a little more range on it. She seems to be – she's reading her man a lot better. And um, defensively, she has to do a better job of guarding the dribble drive. And she's really worked hard on that. So um, I expect a big year from her. I really do. Georgia, Oklahoma, and Washington on the schedule this season. And Oregon, have, and Oregon State. And Oregon State, you have loaded it up. What do you expect from your team this early with that tough of a non-conference schedule? Well, you know, I thought last year it really helped us what we did. and It was it was a lot of guts. You, you're taking a risk that you're going to lose some of these games and then your RPI stinks. But if we want to continue to get better and we want to go to the NCAA tournament every year and we want to make a, a mark for BYU, you got to play good teams. You, gotta, you just can't schedule – pansies all the time and um you know i think by us winning it's made it a little easier to get washington and to get oklahoma and some of these guys to come play us um and i think that's going to really help you're going to see next year we'll play some really good mid-majors next year people like us that are really in the top 30 and i think that'll help us if we can't get these big name teams to come play us but uh, we're really looking forward to it. It'll be, you know, it'll be a good challenge. Georgia got us last year. They lost some key players, and so so do we. And I think we can get Oklahoma here. We should have beat them there. Okay. I think we can get them here. Okay. Should be a fun season. Uh, what are your expectations for this group? You're the preseason number two <laughs> in the league. Uh, I assume you voted for Gonzaga as the I did. number one. I you, did. you can't vote for yourself, so yeah. you have to vote for someone else. Yeah. I did. What do you What do you uh, expect from your team this year? I expect us to be in the hunt. I think there's four teams that have a good chance of winning the conference. Gonzaga, St. Mary's, San Diego, and us. And Santa Clara could be in there, too. They have two really, really good players that are coming back. Uh, but I think just being the hunt and having an opportunity to, to have a chance to win, win the league and then preseason, you know, beat some teams that we, that we really need to win and to get our RPI. Like last year we beat Texas – and him beating one of those teams you mentioned or beating two of them. We have one of them, two of them at home, so hopefully that'll help. And then last but not least, dang it, let's get some fans. <laughs> let's go. I mean, God, we got a good we got a good conference, we got a good league, we got a good schedule, we got fun players to watch. Come support us. Plus, I'm a pretty sharp dresser. <laughs> <laughs> More cougar tails would help, too. That's probably. right. Yeah. More cougar tails. Yeah. I like yeah. that. <laughs> you guys. Jamming with Juddy, Jeff Judkins in Studio B. You bring up a great point. You are a sharp dresser. For that uh, alone, I, I try that's to be, the great yeah. point. Yes. I try to be. <laughs> that is the great but, point. But, hey, real fast about the football. I mean, let's face it. Yeah, let's we, talk football. We all thought they were going to go six wins at best. Now they got a chance of winning nine. At the start of the season, yes. yeah, six wins. You know, like, yeah, so okay. you got to give them a serious, uh, you know, and there's no question, you're as good as your last game. That's Coaches know that. So they go lose a game that they shouldn't lose, you know. But I, I really think that they've done a great job and they've been a fun team to watch. Uh, it's funny, I have three of my girls are dating football players. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, so it's really kind of, you know, we kind of, my girls are interested in it. Like, let's go watch a football game. So you're like, finally. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so big, big week though. Cincinnati is going to be a, t a test. That's for sure. Now we've done a <coughs> couple power rankings the last two years at the Y yeah. awards. Yeah. And, and you have uh, Adam Pulse for a linebacker as yeah. the, the uh, husband of McKenzie. And then uh, Kalani Purcell is dating one. Uh, Butch Powell. Butch yeah. Powell. Yes. So, and, so Butch is at the games. And Hanks is dating uh, an offensive lineman who's sitting out this year, supposed to be a big-time player. Oh, uh, Kyle Johnson? I think that's who it is. And I think uh, somebody else on my team's dating another football guy. guy. I, don't, I don't know as much about that as these other three. But. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> well, Butch and Kalani have requested to be on the power rankings this year. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Man. Yeah, Alexa Gray's not going to make it in for the third year in a row. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey she got mad at me the last time oh, I made a joke about well, that. She's probably mad at, at you right now again. She's in Korea. <laughs>
<laughs> She's probably asleep. Anyashimnika <laughs> Alexa. Uh, Judy. That means don't get mad. Looking forward to the season yeah. starts tonight on BYU TV at uh, Will you 9 be there Eastern tonight? 7 I'm calling okay, it for BYU great. TV, Good. man. That's yeah. awesome. And I'll be there Friday. And Jerem's calling Friday when oh. I'm going to Cincinnati. Yeah. Oh, boy. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll do a great job. Oh, you, guys, you guys do a great job. We really appreciate all you do for us. Hey, show right. up and support the BYU women's basketball team. Sharp dressing. Uh, Jeff Judkins will that, be there. Absolutely. Let's give you some karma for. For uh, the early season as well. Okay, yeah. okay that'd be great. BYU Give me Sports that Nation karma. karma. I need it. It's transferred. It's a, what are they? The Griffins? <laughs> what are, Westminster? The Griffins. The Griffins. Yeah. Griffin doors? Okay. Beat the Griffins. Juddy, great to have you with Thanks, us. Thanks, guys.